We're going to continue on uh, digging into our new identity in Christ. Now, if you watched yesterday's video uh, where I talked about the difference between the Old Covenant and the New Covenant, right, I just, you know, just uh, went into a very shallow uh, definition of that. You may have come up with a uh, reasonable question, which is this. If we're no longer under the law, then what is it that is uh, to guide us? And the answer is Jesus. And found in Titus chapter 2, verse 11, it says, For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all men. So we could say that Jesus is grace and grace is Jesus. Jesus appeared and he did bring salvation to all men. And listen to this. This grace has appeared, bringing salvation to all men, instructing us to deny ungodliness and worldly desires and to live sensibly and righteously and godly in this present age. You see, this teaching to live godly comes from the inside under the new covenant. That's why God said, I will put my law in their heart. I'll write it there. I'll live inside them. I'll be their God and they'll be my people. So it's God himself on the inside that instructs us. We don't need to be instructed anymore by a man. We don't need men to tell us how to live. You see what I'm saying? The Holy Spirit living within us will guide us as we focus on Jesus Christ and focus on letting him live through us. Then he teaches us to deny ungodliness. See, the problem is, is when Christians try to make up the rules and when they try to come up with a set of rules that people may follow, then, then you're now putting yourself back under uh, a works law. You know, in some countries, it's a sin for Christians in the church's mind. It's a sin for Christians to drink coffee. And they don't understand how that American church people can drink coffee because they're going straight to hell for drinking it. And yet there are people in America that believe that the people that drink that don't drink coffee, who but who do drink alcohol, they're going straight to hell for drinking alcohol. Now the question is, how much of this is man's opinion and man's rules? See, when you are born again, the Holy Spirit begins to lead you. God himself resides on the inside of you, and you follow him. You don't follow a man. You don't follow an opinion. You follow God himself, and he is love. You know what? When, if, you will, if you and I will just let God's love flow through us, then we will find we live a holier life than we ever dreamed possible. Because it's His holiness, His love, His power that's working in us. So remember, it's grace that teaches you to deny ungodliness, not the law. The law awakens sin. It awakens ungodliness. You know, when someone tells you not to do something, it, something inside you tells you, I want to do it. But when you allow God to lead you from the inside, then He begins to change your desires as you lean on Him more and more. And He teaches us to do what is honoring before him. You have a graceful day. We'll see you next time.